Hey everybody, Dave Weiss here for the Glue Bomb Show. Well, I finally got it. I remember when I was about 10 years old, I would go into the hobby shops and I would see this model and I wanted this model so bad. And I asked for it for Christmas. And I thought, there's no way I'm getting this. It's too expensive. Because it cost about $7. Remember, I was about 10. Back then, the minimum wage was probably 2 bucks to two sixty-five an hour, somewhere in that range. So 7 bucks was more money, of course, than it is now. However, I wanted this kit, but I didn't think there was any way my parents would come through, but I asked for it anyway. On Christmas morning, there under the tree was a box. A box that was just the right size, and I couldn't wait to open it. And what was in there was this. Now, of course, this is the Atlantis boxing of it. The original one was a Ravel kit, but it's the same box art. It's the same kit. And, of course, I built it like a 10-year-old, right? Because I was 10. And it didn't survive through to adulthood. And I have wanted to get my hands on this kit ever since. And thankfully, the folks in Atlantis brought it back. And I am just excited to get on this and build it. So let's have a look at what's inside. First of all, here's that decal sheet. You know, when you're a kid and, and you don't know cars or anything like that, you just like to build models and you see a graphic like this. <laughs> Man, that is, that's going to sell a kit right there. I was so excited to get my hands on this when I was a kid, and I think I'm equally as excited now. So let's have a look at all the other parts. First of all, look at the size of these slicks. Holy cow. They are huge. I love 116th Funny Cars. Uh, we're going to get into it a little more in a minute. Uh, right now, I'm going to show you the bane of my existence, though. That would be these wires and tubes, the plumbing. Now, i got to admit... I have never really done real well with that. And so this time I am really going to try hard to nail this puppy down and get it just right. Here we have your windshield and rear window. Looks like all the parts, except for the chrome and the body, which we'll get to, are molded in gray plastic. And I like that. That will be nice for painting. That'll be a, a good thing to receive paint. As I recall, a lot of the interior on this kit is gold. And so I'm kind of looking forward to painting it gold. Uh, here you have your, uh, your interior shroud. This is the body hinge and uh, uh, firewall. A few other shroud parts here. Uh, and you have your headers. And, of course, you have your fuel tank here. And uh, your... Uh, Parachutes. That's the word I'm looking for. Don't you just love it when you're on camera and your language fails you? <laughs> Here we have the frame and some other interior parts. Uh, floorboard. Looks like that might be an axle in the back there. Um, this all looks, I mean, these Atlantis kits, I, I know how old this kit is because it's about 10 years younger than I am, and uh, the original molds, I'm saying. And, uh, but man, they have this so clean. I, I see the only flash that I see on this whole tree is a couple places around the tree. But as far as the parts go, they are clean. They are, oh, just supremely clean. Now here, here you have your engine block, uh, parts for the blower, um, just assorted engine parts. You have your 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 driver's seat. Um, you know you can see the parts, right? Beautiful, really nicely molded, really super clean, uh, just exciting. And then we have our chrome sprue. And again, this is a real unboxing, right? I'm just pulling the stuff out of the plastic now. Uh, I pull the plastic off the box ahead of time, mainly because of that little photo that I put on the front, because the plastic glares like crazy, so I usually get rid of it and photograph without it. But 
you're seeing these parts for the first time just like I am. Uh, or I'm seeing the, fir the parts for the first time just like you are. So, all right, inside we have our wheels, uh, front wheels, back wheels, uh, valve covers, axle, uh, some suspension parts in here as well. Um, overall, it looks really great. It looks like it's going to go together nicely. Again, just super clean molds. Um, just, you couldn't ask for much better. That, that, I'm going to say it that way. You could not ask for much better. Finally, let's take a gander at this body. It is cast in a dark blue plastic. Honestly, I'm trying to figure out what's the right color for this uh, to paint it. Because on the box, it sure looks metallic purple. And I know that's what I painted the one when I was a kid. But then there's another, because the way the, it's shot, I'm also wondering if it could be more of a blue. Um, so I don't know. I won't be leaving it the natural color here. I've got a just because I, I, I need to have a good coat of paint on that to put the uh, slide those decals onto. Just a tiny bit of flash on the body, nothing major. And then, of course, you've got your uh, front end of the body, rear end of the body there. So that's the kit. Uh, looks like it's going to be a lot of fun to put together. I like this. Atlanta's put this right on the end of the box, and I haven't noticed it before. Maybe I just missed it, but I'm going to show it to you. Here it says, preserving the past while building the future. I love that, because that's what I feel about these kits. I really do. This is a kit that I have wanted since I was a kid. Since my first uh, build kind of disappeared, right? One day, I'm sure, when I'm... Going through my parents' stuff, I'll probably find it on the attic. Uh, but I, I just can't wait to put this thing together. Really nice uh, instruction sheet here. And once again, they have words on here, folks. I love when they put words with the pictures. Because sometimes the pictures, try as they might, and they do try, uh, sometimes the pictures don't exactly show you what you need to know. It also gives you order of operations so that you know what order to put the thing together in. That, that's huge. And again, it doesn't always work exactly right. You do have to test it. You have to check your stuff out. But um, it works really well, all in all. Um, so in here we have how to assemble the body. I will probably be doing that first because I'll want to get it painted, get those decals on, because there's one thing I've learned about decals, and that is they don't last forever. So I like to get them mounted as soon as I can. And then you start with the assembly of the engine. Uh, the engines on these are super detailed, and you also get wiring to go on these. Now, I have to admit, I have never really been real successful with wiring an engine. And uh, most of that is the tubing doesn't seem to want to go over all these little pins and stuff that they give you. So I'm going to experiment a little bit with this one. I may uh, contact the folks of Atlantis and order an extra uh, distributor and try a couple little wiring experiments so I don't wreck the original one for the kit. Uh, here you have how the uh, interior, the chassis goes together, and let me finish it up with the uh, mounting the wheels and axles and everything, and then finally putting the body on the car. And I got to be honest, as long as I've waited for this, I can't wait to get to this step because I really want to have this thing sitting on my shelf. Um, like I say, it's nice. It is really well put together. Not a lot of flash, almost none. Um, tiny bit on the body, but it looks like it's really superficial and won't be hard at all to put together. So that's what I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to getting this thing together. It'll probably be a couple months before you see it because I am going to take my time. 
I have waited 50 years for this kit and I'm going to take my time. So that's what I have for you today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you'll go out and get one of these yourself and I look forward to giving you a review, but I'm not going to rush it because model building is supposed to be fun. And sometimes when you rush these big kits, it stops being fun. All right, guys, take care. Have a great day.